in order to understand what all this uh, relates to, you have to know something about uh, global environments. Environments change, drive farmers off their lands, uh, send them to places where they can't be accommodated, and they become mobiles and they become desperate, and sometimes they become angry and try to do damage to the planet. So the layout of the planet is something that you need to be able to uh, understand in your mind. There's no point in having opinions about this. If you can't, in your mind's eye, uh, lay the map of climates on the political map and say this country is in this kind of trouble and that country is in that kind of trouble. We, unfortunately, in America, and it'll be another theme, are pretty illiter illiterate geographically. And uh, it uh, behooves us, uh, being the sole superpower today, whether the world likes it or not, uh, for us to know the world we can affect so strongly better than we do. When I see um, members of uh, governments, uh, American government, the American government, unable to identify where a country is uh, that they are about to give foreign aid to or deny foreign aid to, uh, that troubles me. So it relates directly to, obviously, this is the core and periphery is a phenomenon that affects all layers of human society. There's even a core periphery phenomenon in Mississippi, as you know. I mean, there is the unchanged rural Mississippi, and there is this helter-skelter change and globalizing coast. And so this is a global phenomenon. And unless you have a sense of how that operates, um, you, it's really better to go back and teach yourself some geography.